When a body moves in a vertical circular motion, let's say for example, an object is attached to a string. So yung tension in the string varies with the object's position. Nagbabago yung value ng tension. The centripetal force on the object at any point is the vector sum of the tension force and the component of the object's weight toward the center of the circular motion. For example, we analyze the object attached to a string and the object is at the top of the circular motion. We have a figure here. This is the object. In this figure, nakikita natin dalawang arrow na nakadirect dun sa center of the circle. Yan yung weight and the tension that both act toward the center of the circle. So this is the tension and say for example, this is the weight. Now for the centripetal force, Fc, since pareho silang nag act dun sa center ng circle, the tension force plus the weight, eto yung value ng centripetal force. Or when we are speaking about the tension, this is the equation. Tension is equal to the centripetal force minus the weight. When the object is at the bottom naman no circular motion, vertical circular motion, tension natin is eto and eto yung weight. Downward pa din. Now, if we are solving tension force in terms of the centripetal force and the weight, eto yung magiging equation natin. Take note that hindi lang sa ganitong system natin pwedeng i-apply yung vertical circular motion. Another applications of this type of circular motion are the vehicles and say airplanes na dumadaan in a circular arcs. A 0.75 meter long string is used to roll a 2 kilogram golf ball in a vertical circular motion at a uniform velocity of 7 meters per second. Letter A, calculate the tension in the string when the golf ball is at the top of the circle and when it is at the bottom. Letter B, at what critical velocity will the string begin to go slack at the top of the ball's path? So for letter A, gagawin natin is like yung figure natin kanina, kakalculate natin yung tension kapag yung golf ball ay nasa top na ng circular motion and kapag siya ay nasa bottom na. So calculating the tension when the golf ball is at the top of the circle using the direct equation kanina, tension is equal to centripetal force minus the weight. So this is at for letter A. Remember that yung Centripetal force is equal to mass times velocity square over R minus ang weight naman is mass times gravity. Tension is equal to ang mass ng golf ball is 2 kilograms. Ang velocity is 7 meters per second quantity square over R. Since yung length ng string, say for example ito yung motion, ito yung center ng motion. Ito yung length ng string and dito yung golf ball. etong length na string na 0.75 meters, siya na mismo yung radius ng circular motion. We have 0.75 meters minus mass, again, 2 kilograms times the gravity na 9.81 meters per second square. And by calculating, the tension in the string at the top of the circular motion is equal to 111.05 Newton. Sa bottom naman, so this is at the top, at the bottom naman, tension is equal to centripetal force plus the weight. Tension is equal to mass times V square over R plus mass times gravity. We have 2 kilograms times 7 meters per second quantity square over 0.75 meters plus 2 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second square. By calculating, ang tension of the string when the golf ball is at the bottom is equal to 150.29 Newton. Letter B naman, the question is, what critical velocity will the string begin to go slack at the top of the ball's path? So when we say slack, ibig sabihin nun, kakalas na yung bola dun sa string. And kapag ganun ang nangyari, kapag ganun situation na nangyari, mawawalan na ng force dun sa string. Wala ng tension na mag-a-act sa kanya. So therefore, the tension in the string is zero. 
And to solve for the critical velocity, take note that nasa top pa rin yung bola, tension is equal to centripetal force minus the weight. And since zero ito, centripetal force is equal to the weight, mass times velocity square over R equals mass times gravity. Pwede na natin i-cancel yung mass. So here in this equation, itong velocity na to, this is the critical velocity. Kasi yan yung zero na yung tension. Solving for the critical velocity, we cross multiply. Gravity times radius and square ito magkabilang side. Cancel ito. Critical velocity is equal to the square root of gravity na 9.81 meters per second square times the radius na 0.75 meters and by calculating critical velocity is equal to 2.71 meters per second so sa mga ganitong equation for example yung isang velocity na mas mababa sa critical velocity big sabihin nun that the top of the ball's path will flatten out and will not be circular. Mawawala na siya sa circular motion. So, this is example number one. An object is wheeled vertically at constant energy at the end of a 95 centimeter string. If the object's speed at the top of the circle is 4.25 meters per second, find its speed at the bottom of the circle. So, since nabanggit sa example number two is constant energy at the end of a string, so at the top of the circle, I apply natin dito yung conservation of energy. Now, at the top of the circle, the ball has a potential energy relative to the bottom of the circle. So, for example, eto yung circular motion, eto yung top, and eto yung bottom. At the top of the circle, ang potential energy natin, is equal to mass times gravity times height. So, yung height na yan is the... So, ito yung ating relative. Relative point. Now, ibig sabihin yung potential energy sa top, itong h na to is simply 2 times the radius. Potential energy at the top is equal to mass times gravity times 2r or say 2 times mass times gravity times the radius. And sa bottom naman, at the bottom, ang potential energy natin is zero na. Okay, this is potential energy 1, this is potential energy 2. Kasi, ito ang ating relative point, yung bottom point. And the banggit sa problem na yung total energy ng ball is constant. Therefore, conserve yung ating energy dito. Energy 1 equals energy 2. Now, we have kinetic energy 1 plus potential energy 1 equals, eto yun sa top, eto naman yun sa bottom, so eto na kasi yung pinakasimpling point na pwede natin gamitin for the conservation of energy, and isa pa, given sa top yung velocity na 4.25 meters per second, ang kailangan natin hanapin yung speed at the bottom of the circle, kinetic energy 2 plus potential energy 2. Take note na zero na yung ating potential energy 2. Given sa atin yung velocity at the top, we have here 1 half mass times velocity 1 square plus mass times gravity or eto siya. This is 2, mass, 2 times mass times gravity times r equals 1 half times mass times velocity 2 square plus 0. Velocity 2, eto yung velocity na inahanap natin kasi siya yung velocity at the bottom. Ito yung velocity at the top. Pwede na natin cancel out yung mass. So, we have, unahin na natin ito. 1 half times velocity 2 square equals 1 half times velocity 1 square plus 2 times gravity times r. So, multiply natin both sides by 2 para makancel. We have velocity 2 square equals, cancel na rin ito, velocity 1 square plus 2 times 2 is 4 times gravity times r. Square root ng magkabilang side, cancel na yun. Velocity 2 is equal to the square root of 
velocity 1 square plus 4 times gravity times r. And sa substitute na natin yung values dito, velocity 2 is equal to the square root of velocity 1 is 4.25 meters per second quantity square plus 4 times the gravity na 9.81 meters per second square times the radius or yung length na string we have 0 0.95 meters by calculating ang velocity to natin or yung velocity at the bottom of the circle using conservation of energy 7.44 meters per second the ball's velocity at the bottom of its path is more than twice its velocity at the top. So, yung difference is due to the conservation of the ball's potential energy at the top into additional kinetic energy at the bottom. So, this is example number 2. Example number 3. A plane pulls out a dive in a circular arc whose radius is 990 meters. The plane's velocity is a constant 215 meters per second. Calculate the force with which the 72 kilogram pilot presses down on his seat at the bottom of the arc. So in this example, hindi na tayo gagamit ng system na string and a ball. Dito is a plane na dadaan sa circular motion in a circular arc given radius 990 meters. And ang i-analyze natin is kapag nandun na yung plane sa bottom of the arc. Say for example, this is the circular arc. Ito yung motion na kanyang dinaanan. And nandito yung plane. So, kapag nandito na sa point na to yung plane, gaano kalaking force ang mararamdaman ng 72 kg pilot na itutulak siya downwards, itutulak siya pababa. Yung force na yan is downward and that downward force the pilot exerts on his seat is the equal and opposite reaction to the upward force of the seat on him. Yung upward force na yan both supports his weight naman and pinoprovide nun yung centripetal force that keeps him in a circular path yung upward force of the seat on the pilot plays the same role here as the tension in the string parang ganun pa rin sa kaninang system natin so ibig sabihin ganun pa rin yung principle na susundin natin yung tension since wala na tayong string dito yung tension is mag na lang as force na lang, eto na yung i-consider natin eto yung nararamdaman na force nung pilot. So, yung force na yan, since nasa bottom tayo, force is equal to the centripetal force plus the weight. Ito yung ikakalculate natin. Force now is equal to centripetal force is mass times velocity square over r plus mass times gravity. Force is equal to mass is 72 kilograms Since ang ina-analyze natin is yung pilot, hindi yung plane mismo. Siya kasi yung makakaramdam nung force na required or yung force na inahanap natin. Times the velocity. Ang velocity is 215 meters per second quantity square over the radius na 990 meters. Plus mass again na 72 kilograms times the gravity na 9.81 meters per second square. By calculating, dito na natin nilagay, the force with which the 72 kilogram pilot presses down on his seat at the bottom of the arc is equal to 4,068.14 newton. So, the pilot presses down on his seat with a force of 4,068.14 Newton. And this is example number 3. Example number 4. A vehicle constantly moving at 15 meters per second encounters a circular dip in the road. The radius of the dip's arc is approximately 72.5 meters. Find the normal force exerted by the vehicle seat on a 65 kilogram passenger when the vehicle is at the bottom of the dip. This example is much like the example number 3. Ang difference naman dito is vehicle at the road. Say for example, ito yung road and ito yung dip na kanyang nadaanan. And we have a circular motion here. Ito yung vehicle. At the bottom of the dip, 
the passengers moving along a circular path and accelerating vertically upward. Yun nga, centripetal acceleration natin toward the center of the circle. So again, using the equation and the principle na na-discuss natin kanina, since passenger pinag-uusapan natin, eto yung weight ng passenger and eto yung normal force or yung force na nararamdaman niya na ibinabalik nung seat sa kanya. Same so, normal na lang. F and normal force na nararamdaman ng passenger from the seat. And again, meron tayong centripetal force dito. Ang ikinakalculate natin dito is the normal force. Normal force is equal to, since nasa bottom again, pag a natin yung centripetal force and yung weight, mass times velocity square over r plus the weight na mass times gravity. Normal force is equal to, mass of the passenger is 65 kilograms times the velocity ng vehicle 15 meters per second quantity square over radius na 72.5 meters plus 65 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second square. By calculating ang normal force exerted by the vehicle seat on a passenger is equal to 839.37 Newton. So the same physics applies to the example natin kanina, example number 3, who pulls out a plane out of a high-speed dive. And in that case, mas malaking magnitude ng effect na nakuha natin kanina. So this is example number 4.